Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see about functions. How functions works and what is the function? The function computes a value. Functions return a single value at a time. So what does it mean? The functions are used to develop a modularity. So modularity in the sense suppose if you are if you want to write a larger script so uh, instead of writing the larger scripts on the like uh, writing 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 like that so you can split the larger script into a multiple tasks and each task you can define as a uh, function so that the function you can call it okay anywhere in the script so that what happens the each function will be divided into the each module the module will do a particular task so that you can call that particular function in in the script anywhere so wherever you want and whenever you want throughout the program so that is called a modularity so a large program can be split into multiple small modules each modules perform on a specific task instead of writing the code over and over again we can write single function and call the function wherever you want and whenever you want so that's about the function so how the function works example say uh, the function definition over here the function name so sorry so here so you have to provide the function and name the function name and provide the braces with, which should start your script and uh, braces within these uh, curly braces curly braces you have to write your statements or the values whatever you wanted to execute or assign to this function and you can call that function name over here the name function over here so that the function will be executed so that's what the function can be useful and how the, the function is going to be written over here so let's example say that uh, template i am going to say one function something like this and i am going to edit that one function in the script files and go ahead and edit the one function and say so this is the uh, script i am going to writing here it is that uh, function example uh, taking backup of particular file so particular file backup i'm going to take using the functions how we are going to define that function over here uh, let's see that so if you want to define the function what you have to do first of all function and say function name let's example say take backup and provide your parentheses and open your curly braces over here okay and the function will be started in the body whatever the condition you would like to write you write that condition so i'm writing the if condition over here saying that so if the file is dollar one the positional parameter one then then backup okay so i am assigning some backup name over here so in the slash opt directory so it's going to be saved into the slash opt directory and say i am going to capture that file name okay base name is the last file name which is going to be captured automatically using the base name command and within the curly process i am going to call that value over here and say dollar and uh, I'm going to define that file as a date format so which means that it will add the file for file name would be uh, base name plus date and the process which process which took the uh, backup so that process ID would be written over here so I'm say echo I'm saying that uh, backup backing up dollar one to 
dollar backup. Okay, and save. Just copying that dollar one to the dollar backup. And closing this uh, our FI condition or uh, the FI block and close the function block over here and I'm assigning that uh, function here I'm calling that function over here and uh, I'm assigning some static content so slash post which is going to be backup that one if so here also I'm doing some validation is that dollar question mark in the sense the executed command is zero which means that the if the slash etc slash is host file is exist then equal backup success and i am going to end the if block so that's about our script and go ahead and execute the function over here say the backing up slash etc slash two slash so this is the file name which is backed up over here you can see that which is not created any file over here because of permission issue okay so maybe we can change the directory to somewhere else and uh, create the backup file so okay so this is not created because of the permissions issue so instead of storing it in the slash opt maybe i can call my home directory over here okay so we can call our home directory to tilde so that is your home directory path then i am going to execute this function again the function and say the file cannot create the regular file under the tilde oh okay so maybe we can use pwd uh, this is the path we can use it edit the one function file and uh, write this path over here so that the file will be stored over here and uh, clear the screen for us and uh, run the script so backing up the file and it is successfully backed up over here and you can see that so that is the content in slash etc slash host file so like that you can write your functions or you can write multiple functions in the same and whenever you call that function it will be executed example say uh, if i want to call something like this so i am editing the function again i am writing one more function over here okay like say function okay test function i am writing maybe testing function something like this and i am closing the parentheses process over here and i am opening our function statement over here and saying that echo just testing function and i am closing over here so here i am not calling anything so if i not call that function it's not going to execute anyway so let's say so let's say that dot function and executed so that it is executed but say there is no output from the function right so if you edit again let's say you call that function over here say testing okay then the echo statement will be executed on the second function just testing function that's about it so because so you can just define the function and where throughout the program wherever you want call that function you can call it using the function name that's about it the the function examples maybe i can uh, i'm going to uh, explain you in the one more session the functions with the different uh, um, examples or maybe a little bit more examples okay thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites 
If you have any technical related questions, you can ask.